Gladbach were trying to arrest the run of six games without a victory. Yannick Vestergaard, one of two former Hoffenheim players, lining up against Julian Nagelsmann, still unbeaten side. The home team came in without a win in six, but deservedly went in front 25 minutes in. Unselfish from Christoph Kramer, who could have shot himself, but teed up Mahmoud Dahoud. A lovely finish from the 20-year-old, his first of the season and his first ever with his left foot. Just one genuine threat from the visitors. Three minutes before the break, a really fine effort from skipper Eugen Polanski and a top save from Jan Zommer, who may well have seen it late. Then, on the stroke of half-time, another opportunity for Gladbach. Azar's free kick reached to be a Strobel, but Bauman reacted well to make the save. It's more than three years since Strobel last scored. So, 1-0 Gladbach at the break, thanks to the hugely promising Dahoud. And it should have been 2-0 almost immediately after the restart, when Raphael played in Stindl, but the shot lacked conviction and accuracy, and Bauman made the save. Coach Andre Schubert furious, his opposite number Nagelsmann had made two changes at the break, and one of them, Nadim Amiri, took less than eight minutes to make his mark. A clinical effort past a static Zoma, Amiri's fifth Bundesliga goal, his third from the bench. The rest of the match was end-to-end, -end, but Gladbach wasted a glorious chance to win it when Fabian Johnson came off the bench and within two minutes was put clear by Dahoud. But the American fired wastefully wide against his former club. A real surprise that Johnson wasn't in the starting 11, and that miss may well mean he'll stay on the bench for a while. So Hoffenheim stay unbeaten, but after ten successive home victories, Gladbach haven't won any of their last four. He finished Borussia Mönchengladbach 1, Hoffenheim 1.